bathrooms are exposed to a lot of water, moisture, and soap scum. Where there's water, there's a chance for mold and mildew growth and damaging water leaks. Soap scum can lead to stains that can make your bathroom sealants look dirty and unsightly. Replacing old caulk or sealing certain areas in your bathroom is an easy do-it-yourself project that can help protect against costly damage and give your bath a fresh, clean look. First, you want to remove any old caulk or sealant from the seam or joint. Carefully cut or scrape away the old caulk using a utility knife or scraper. Be careful not to scratch the finish. Pull out the loose caulk and wipe away any material. Then, clean the area thoroughly with water and disinfectant to remove any dirt or grime. Rinse well and wipe off excess water. As a final step, wipe the seam or joint with rubbing alcohol to remove any residue or film. Make sure the area to be sealed is clean and dry to ensure good adhesion with the caulk. To get a really straight edge, apply painter's masking tape to either side of the joint before applying the sealant. Since you're sealing in the bathroom, you want a sealant that's waterproof and resists mold and mildew. DAP Quick Seal Ultra Premium Siliconized Kitchen and Bath Sealant is 100% waterproof and it comes with a lifetime mold and mildew resistance guarantee. Even better, Quick Seal Ultra is formulated with innovative ultra hydrophobic technology to repel water, soap scum, stains, and dirt. So the sealant stays looking clean, fresh, and new year after year. That means less scrubbing and a longer lasting, cleaner looking bead of caulk. Start with your tub where the tub meets the tile or surround. If this area is not well sealed, water can leak down between your tub and the wall, which can lead to some serious water damage. To apply the sealant, first cut the nozzle of the caulk tube at a 45 degree angle. The farther down the nozzle you cut, the bigger the bead of caulk will be. Some sealants have an inner foil that will need to be punctured, so be sure to read the instructions on the label. Load the cartridge into the caulk gun. Hold the caulk gun at a 45 degree angle to the surface and gently squeeze the trigger with steady pressure to apply an even bead of sealant in the seam. If you keep the caulk gun moving steadily, you'll get a more consistent bead. Work your way around the tub. After the sealant has been applied to each seam, smooth the bead with a caulk finishing tool or your finger dipped in water. This pushes the sealant further into the seam and also gives you a nice finished appearance. Do this before the caulk starts to skin over, which takes about two to five minutes. If you applied masking tape, remove the tape before the sealant skins over. Just lift the edge up at a 45 degree angle and carefully pull away from you. Let the sealant dry before exposing it to water and moisture. How much time is needed depends on the caulk you're using, so read the label. Quick Seal Ultra is ready for water exposure in just four hours, so you can use your tub or shower sooner. Use this same process to seal other areas in your bathroom, like in the shower, the seam between your backsplash and vanity top, the joint where the backsplash meets the wall, or around sinks. For areas like this where it's hard to navigate a caulk gun, a squeeze tube is the perfect solution. Squeeze tubes don't require a caulk gun. They fit right in the palm of your hand and make it easy to get in those tight spaces and corners. When you're done, clean the sealant from surfaces, tools, and hands. Cleanup depends on the type of sealant you're using. If you're using DAP Quick Seal Ultra, you only need water. Other products like silicone and hybrid sealants require solvents like mineral spirits to clean up. Sealing your bathroom might take a bit of work, but it's worthwhile to protect it from mold, mildew, and water damage, and to keep it looking fresh, clean, and new. DAP, for confidence from start to finish.